Sarah and I'm back for some more details it's looking so cute and this time we're going to be working on the spoon the cookie cutter the apron I'll try to get as far as I can but um, you know it is a time it takes time so let's go let's go shade with milk chocolate um, do I have milk chocolate out I have so many browns out, and no, I do not have milk chocolate out. This is going to bring this little spoon to life. And I left my stippling brush in the, in the water, so I need to remove that. And I'll clean it after I'm done. So we're going to be floating again. Um, floating is a technique that we use to shade and highlight. I'm just turning my palette paper. It's a paper palette. It's like a slick surface so that you can load your brush. So whatever's happening on the palette is pretty much what you're going to get on your piece. So make sure it's, it looks good over there. Um, I like to use an angle brush as well, and Renee also recommends an angle brush. Um, I go, I'll go a little smaller because I am a heavy hand. So I'm going into water, blot, corner load. So I grab the paint on the corner of my brush and I'm gonna set it down and load it. So now I have paint, paint and water over here. I'm going to go over to my piece and using the picture as your guide because she doesn't really spell out where she wants you to do it. I am going to add some shading to this little spoon under the icing. And I I could I could have zoomed in but I forgot, so I'm in the middle of it now. I will zoom on the next part. And I'm just walking the paint around and all the bristles are on the surface and you can see that because there's a water line and there wouldn't be a water line if all if the water edge didn't touch the, the, the uh, piece as well and then if you if you want to you can tickle the paint down a little more because there's water to pull it into and that's how you get that shading from dark to light I'm gonna go underneath where the leaves are so I need to leave that area alone now because if I keep playing up there I'll pick up what I just put down until that's totally dry so I'm just gonna reload my brush and I go right back to that wetter slicker runway that I and I can load it right from there and then I come back to my piece and put the color up against the berries and the leaf and pull it down. I'm going to put a little bit under his hand. I got a piece of gum too so hopefully I'll spit it out in a minute. Because I just finished filming the other um, video that I did um, the hat and it, the gingerbread. So I'm going to flip it around and do on top of his hand. And try to pull it up a little. Oops, that looks a little chippy choppy. So I'll just tap it with my mop. And then I'm going to, I just keep going to that same runway. And I'm going to shade here around this holly leaf. a little bit this is not a realistic painting it's not you don't have to get crazy um, but this is probably dry enough that I can uh, do another float in the middle there but I, oh, but I'm gonna wait and let it let it dry because there's other things we can do in the meantime that's why you skip around so it says deep in the shading in the darkest areas with burnt umber I'll do that in a minute Paint the stripes on the handle with country red paint. Let's see, I just want to do the holly leaves. 
uh, shade with avocado, deepen shading with a brush mix of avocado and black green. So let me get some avocado out and we'll do the leaves while we're waiting for um, the brush. The um, You know what? It's like they're right in front of me and I can't see them. Avocado. Hello. Well, maybe it's not right in front of me. It's not. I don't have it. Maybe I'll just use black green then. It might have fell down. All right, forget it. I'm going to go. We'll do the, um, I'll find avocado, but in the meantime, this is dry. And then you're going to go on the inside of the spoon. So there's a line. I'll, I'll come in and I'll show you because it's a very, very light line. You can see it. Oh, good. You can see it. Um, load my brush. I just corner loaded and went into that same uh, I did a I did a really good floating um, tutorial in the last part. Uh, I think I got a little paint there. There's a line here. So I'm putting the color on the inside of the spoon and taking it down. And I'll leave it there. It's kind of on the leaf. So I'm just going to push it off the leaf. And I'm going to use my mop and then I want to do a little bit more here but I might wait because it's um, probably a little too wet let me see where avocado is I'll be right back all right I got it same brush and again I'm just using the, the pattern the picture but I kind of had a shade I've been doing these um, I just did them on my ornaments. I've been doing them a lot, so I have uh, an idea of what she wants you to do. So you're going to create a center line, a center vein. Hopefully, oh Jesus. I'm going to go, Kirby found something. She's playing with something. Don't animals just make you happy? They make me happy. Totally. I don't know why there's a line. The, um, I'm leaving it. And then this one she has on this side. Let's see. If my brush is loaded correctly, I can go on forever and ever with, with one float. And um, I can, like right now my brush is really dry. I know that, but I'm still doing it. Oh, and I just picked up, no I didn't, it's okay. And if you think this is not um, looking like it's uh, shaded yet or highlighted, we're gonna, when we add the highlight color, oh man, these babies pop so nice. It's really cool. But I need to go down the center of this one. And Kirby noticed that I closed the door so she could be knocking any minute. So that's kind of, you can't really distinguish this, this yet, but wait till I add the highlighting. You will. Um, I just want to darken. I think it said to darken it with what, burnt umber? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to my bigger brush and it said to darken it with burnt umber, so I'm gonna go right up against the hand right here. And I should go um, up against the icing as well. It's actually really dark, but that's okay. I don't want to do that yet. I have to finish this top part with the milk chocolate, was it? Or one of those honey, I don't know what color it was. 
whatever color it says on the spoon, but I have like four browns out right now. And I'm just going to finish right here. This does not look round, but that's okay. It is what it is. Okay. The, um, we can, um, do the icing. It said light buttermilk and then white. I think I'll do it. I'll follow the directions, whatever. Since I happen to have it out on my palette. First it says to highlight with light buttermilk. And I want to do those leaves so bad. Let's see. Deepen the shading with a brush mix of adequate highlight with spicy mustard. Now I don't have spicy mustard, but I'm just going to use antique gold. Antique gold seems like it's a spicy mustard kind of color. Look, I mean, good enough. So I'm just getting that out and getting it ready because I'm going to dark. I'm going to deepen the shading at least the center um, line of the, of the leaves with black green. That's, she said a, a brush mix, but I'm just going to use the black green. Black green is another one of my favorite colors for shading. Oh, so good. Such a good color. My brush split. And that means that that turns out a lot more stripey. Like it didn't blend, so I'm going to do it again. Just make sure this is nice and wet because that's what holds the bristles together. There we go. And I'm just going to move to, it's still splitting. Can you see the split? I don't know why. It's just a new brush and the bristles aren't soft yet or... Um, On these little things, I don't think you need to get as worked up over it as I am. I'm kind of taking this a little too seriously here, but uh, they're my leaves, so I can do what I want. But you really just want an indication of, you know, like I said, it's not the final, it's not the leaves that we're looking at, it's the overall piece. Um, so I'm just going to darken one more spot with the burnt umber underneath the, um, I'm just going to turn this, it's getting in my way. Underneath the icing, I'm going to use burnt umber, or it's actually asphaltum, because I don't have burnt umber. I have burnt umber, I just don't know where, because everybody has burnt umber. It's a very common brown, oopsie, very lot of paint on my brush. Hopefully I'm in the shot because this is a good example of how I maneuvered my brush. Hopefully, up oh, I wasn't. I'm so sorry. Zooming, not my thing. All right, now we're going to highlight the little... Uh, Spicy mustard. Spicy mustard. I'm backing off. Okay, hold on. Let me come back up. I'm so sorry. I need to focus. Look. 
I just put this paint out. I, it's my first runway, and it's way too much paint. I'm going to do a little tiny thing. I do not need this brush crazy loaded. So I'm blotting, and I'm just going to go back to the runway and pick up a tiny bit. I'm, I don't even want that much paint. Like, I have a tiny bit of paint. All right, now I'm going to come in and hopefully not overdo this. I don't want to overdose it. I'm going to put a little bit on these edges um, and a little bit up against the center. Do you see how it, oh, you don't, you don't see because I don't show you. Let me try that again. Make sure I'm in the shot. I'm going to take it up against this side. I, I do not know if I was actually in the shot for like most of that, so I'm so sorry. I get too like in the moment, like I just want to be in the moment and get it on there. But now we're talking, right? Now you can see the little shape of the leaves. OMG, it's good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Good, good, good. Okay. And you can go crazy, but that looks so cute. All right. Uh-huh. I can strengthen this highlighting with white, which, I mean, it's fine, but I'll do it. I think it already looks strengthened. Don't think I'm in the shot. All right, I am going to have to pull the camera up so that I don't lose you guys. This is so cute. All right, let me cut. I'm going to pull up. And if I do anything extraordinary, I will share it with you in a closer up. Uh, uh, uh. Deep in the shading, I did that. Highlight with spicy mustard. Dot the berries with country red. Each Dot each berry with a highlight of titanium white. I already did the berries, and I'm just going to add a tiny little dot of titanium white, and I think they can be considered done. I mean, I could come back and just, I'm just going to brighten them up because I had them on there from yesterday, and I just put a bunch of shading colors down. So I'm just making them more round and prettier. And I will add a highlight to those, but I think the spoon is done. Um, basically, yay, that was fast. The apron, shade with deep midnight blue, then Payne's gray, paint the stitching with light buttermilk. Oh man, this is gonna take a second too. So deep midnight blue and then Payne's gray. And I could skip the deep midnight blue and just go Payne's gray. I think I'm gonna, because, I mean, it's just a little thing that we don't need to be that. There's a reason, though. Okay, here, let me tell you the reason. So, here's your, oh, I don't have a plain piece of paper. Here is your, so if you're floating your first float, this is the uh, Deep Midnight Blue. It's going to come all the way down to here. The idea is then, then the second float you would only bring down to here. So you would still see, you'd see the Payne's Gray up here and the Deep Midnight Blue. So it's going to fade even further. That's when you do more than one color with shading. That's the idea. For a little piece like this, it's, it's not going to make that much of a difference in two tiny little areas, you know. That's my opinion. Now, Renee didn't feel that way, and she created this design, so you could do it both. You, you could do it, you know, both colors. But for me, I'm a little lazy, and I know I'm a heavy hand anyway, and I'll just make it dark enough right here. Right here. And that had brown under it. 
so you were getting a little bit of a um, a change to the color because the brown that I shaded underneath the head I never took it off the blue like I never wiped it off um, there is a little section here I'm just putting it everywhere it would be um, need a shadow and I didn't trace the lines on because I can kind of tell where you know I know where it would be I'm just making sure I'm in the shot you guys sorry This is definitely looking brown. Um, let me look and see where else she has it. Down around here. Paint the stitching lines with light buttermilk, dot the button with lamp black, and dot a highlight with titanium white. So light buttermilk I think I still have out here. And when, let me just show you here. When your paint gets, um, after, because I've been painting for a couple hours, or well, an hour. So what happens to your um, paint? This is light buttermilk. It gets a little crust over it. I'm just waiting for it to come into focus. It won't focus on the white. That is so weird. Okay. Anywho, you just kind of take the bottom of your brush and you can kind of break the, the crustiness and get that little bit of wet out of there. There's paint under there, in other words. I need a little bit more, but sometimes it's just enough to get you what you need. I'm making little dashes so maybe this is going to be enough but I don't know let's see they're little tiny this is when oh boy crooked this is when a really nice pointy brush is going to make you so happy because you're going to be able to make it look nice and delicate I need more paint, I think, for sure. And instead of highlighting the tops of this, you know, the little edges that would be highlighted, this trim, this little stitching is making it look brighter up there. So it's another way of getting it to look, I just think, super cute. Uh, and then the buttons, the button she said is black. I guess I'll use, um, I want that number one. And my black, see my black, it might focus on my black, sorry. So right here, this is, uh, where the heck is my black? I think this is black green, this is black. So there's a little crust right here, see? I just poked a hole in it, and you can even move it off. So then there's nice wet paint underneath. It just saves you paint, but yeah, there's still good paint under there. And then I'm going to put a nice little button on his little overall. I think 
that's done. Yep, the apron. I'm just going to highlight that. The cookie cutter. Shade with zinc. Paint the thin lines on each side of the handle and deepen with graphite. Highlight the handle with white. Stipple. Really? Why are we stippling? Cool. You can kind of see that. Oh, I like it. All right. I'm just going to go right with graphite. I don't have zinc, so that's why I'm skipping that. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So I'm going to put out some graphite. And my smaller angle brush. This is a 3 8 inch angle. Corner load that graphite. I love this color, too. And I'm going to follow my picture here because I need to figure out where she wants the shading. Well, we know, all right, you know what? I'm just going to flip it and go up against this little section. I went right back to that same runway and picked up a little bit more. Um, those two sections up against this side. Oh no, that's not the side, sorry. That's actually where the handle goes. I don't know what goes there, but the, I want to go up against the very edge of this. So it's on this edge, but then it's over here. And under the handle. It's still wet there, but I think I can get away with it. Um, I think I want to go above the handle too. Let me double check. A little bit. Maybe not as dark, but here as well. Hmm, I don't know. We have to go up against the uh, icing. I'm just going to, I see a place on here, it's with burnt umber on the spoon. I just want to darken this. I don't know why. I just wanted it darker. Uh, she's not really telling us where, let's say, Paint the lines on each side of the handle and deepen the shading with graphite. So paint the lines on each side of the handle. Thank you, Renee, for saying that because I knew something was going on. So these little lines right here, this one and this one, they're painted on. So right here and right here. And then we're going to... Um, I have to go along the edge of the, um, you know what, I have to do more too. I have to go above the top, top and bottom, and then we highlight. Um, but now I can actually do on either side of that. So I'm going to move from that because I have to wait. And we're going to go to the bowl. Ooh, we're moving. Nope, yep, the bowl. Shade with black plum. Oh, another. For whatever reason, I like the shading colors. You know why? Because it just makes it come together. So I am going to do on the top edge of the rim of the bowl. If I can. So right here. My brush is splitting, but it'll be okay. 
um, up here and around the icing. Uh, should I use this brush? Yeah, I'm going to do it. As long as it doesn't split, I'm going to be okay. I have plenty of water. I'm going to go along the, I want to make the lip of the bowl. It would definitely be in these areas. This is like going to be the, some of the darkest areas. Oh, and I'm all over the icing. But see, it starts to come to life. I can go back to my cookie cutter. And I just am going to take that graphite because it's dry now. Oh, I picked up a lot of paint. And I need to do this edge just gently and this edge and up against the uh, other side too, here. And then we're going to highlight and I think that's done. Oh, no, I have to stipple it. So let me go back to, I'm just following the picture to see where else she shades. So down along his arms, actually around his body. You can take this in two, three steps. You don't have to go all the way around like I do. So you can just do one and then do over here and then do over here, you know. So don't, I just happen to have a lot of water and I can keep going. But it isn't a newbie's way. You're not going to be able to do it if you're a newbie. Maybe you will. Hey, I don't know. Um... But don't beat yourself up, take your time, and just be excited for one good float is good in the beginning. It's okay. Like I'm just going to tuck that one right there. Because it's not that big of an area that I really need to get that crazy over it like I think you can tell it's a bowl you know like it really this would be casting a shadow but then it's just going to be all dark actually I will go I say actually a lot I'm sorry actually I'm sorry no I'm actually sorry um right along the bottom And I mean, it's just me being, I don't know, but it, it, if, you, if it's too small of an area, don't worry about it. But I think we're good. This is crooked. I'm not happy about that, but what else? All right. Now, what else? I can finish. We have to finish the cookie cutter. It says, highlight with thin strokes of, whoa. Okay, wait. 
you highlight with thin strokes of titanium white and then stipple along the top of the cookie cutter with a, a mix of light buttermilk and titanium white. So let me get some light buttermilk because I know I use that all. Oh, I think Kirby thinks she's going for a walk. She was just telling Matt, you forgot something, buddy. All right, so where was I? A thin line of titanium white. Um, I need more of that too. On the handle. And then a thin line right here. Eh. That's good enough. And then I'm going to stipple. These lines are kind of long. I don't think I needed them to be that long. They should actually be much shorter. See the tracing? Let's see. Well, on the tracing, they're pretty long, but on her, you can tell on the picture that they're not these two lines, but it's fine. It looks like a cookie cutter. I'm fine with it. And then we can just stipple, which I don't know if it needs it. Does it need it? I'm going to go with just just light buttermilk. I'm not going to um, double load. And gently, gently, gently. I don't even know why. That doesn't look good to me. It's fine. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. It is what it is. Um, all right, so that's done. Let's see if what we're doing with the, I think we're going to highlight this uh, bowl. Highlight with Neon's Fiery Red. I love doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This color, oh, when you highlight with red, oh boy. It is a happy, happy, happy thing. Um, so, corner load. It's a very transparent color. It's a fluorescent. Oh, man. Wait until you say what this is going to be good. Oh, man. This is good right here. Right here. Right here. Look how much that, like, that little bit of tiny bit, oh boy, it just makes everything happy. Do you see that, you guys? I even want to put a little bit of that on this berry up here. Why not? Why not? I want to put it on these two. It is popping, popping, popping. I can't, I can't zoom in. I'm sorry, because I will not be in the shot. I think I should at least just be in the shot. All right, and I think that might be done. Let's see. Paint a thin highlight stroke along the right side of the bowl with tit titanium white. So right here. How? And then I also do need to put little tiny white dots on these. And I'm going to put tiny little white dots on these too. Um, okay, I think that's that. And then, oops, I got red on the top of the icing. Let's see. I guess I could put a little bit of white up there, too. What's next? Icing. Base with sand, shade with cocoa, which I don't think I have cocoa. I have mocha, but I don't have cocoa. And guess what? We're just going to do it with whatever. One of these browns that I have a lot of out here. It looks like, 
looks like it's going to be, does that look foody? I think that might be like milk chocolate. Yeah, milk chocolate is foody, right? All right, so we're shading the icing with cocoa. And I'm just going to follow again, and I want this really light, not overbearing like I did on the hat. So I'm going to very gently load my brush. When I say that, I mean I'm taking a tiny bit of paint and I'm putting it right here. I need a little bit more. See, it has that crust on it. So I'm digging down to get the wetness underneath. I need to keep this light. Um, let's see where she shaded it. Around his butt. Let me get this red. You taking her for a walk, Matt? Yeah, we'll be real quick. Okay. She got a sweater on. Okay, she has a little sweater. Um, where did I put it? Oh, this color. See, this seems, that's not the milk chocolate. I'm sorry. I am going to use this color. This, yeah, this looks chocolatier, like milk chocolatey. So all along here, super light, it's like almost impossible for me to do it light though. It's just not my um, way, but if there's enough water, you can, um, now I'm using my tracing because I want to see, see in her picture, she has an extra swoopy jupe there I call it a swoopy jupe but in the picture there's not so don't get crazy over this this is just gonna be simple I'm gonna put it huh I am gonna do one now I'm gonna make my own this is gonna come up and have a little right there and I'm going to erase this a little bit more. This looks really dark. And I'm going to go behind that. So behind it. Add a lot of paint on there. And <clears throat> I think I'm just going to go down this side just to, I don't know, maybe there's a shadow over there. I think it would be at the top too because it's bending down into the bowl, but she has it highlighted and it looks pretty so I'll probably do it that way and then it says um, highlight with a mix of light buttermilk and white strengthen some of the highlights with white so since I have light buttermilk out here I'm just gonna go straight light butter now I have to add white too I brush mixed it so I just loaded my brush with light buttermilk then I loaded my brush with white and I'm gonna do all the highlighting but I have so much paint on here and then I'll just brighten a few of them with straight white. Um, it's just hard to see that on my palette. It's a little messy, but that's okay. I forgive me. Because it, oh, oh, I don't want to get this on my sweater. It's not a sweater, it's a shirt. I just put my wrist in some paint. That's okay. Um, I gotta go up there. That's me brush mixing. I 
Dang it. I don't think I haven't had as much color on my brush that first time I loaded it, so. But you can tell that it's kind of bubbling out of there, right? And I'll hit it with a little bit of white, too. Let's see. Am I done my icing? Strengthen some highlights with white. Rolling pin. Shade along the bottom with burnt sienna. Paint the wood grain lines with milk chocolate. Oh, my Lord. So many colors. I love burnt sienna, so I won't get mad at her for that. And shade along the bottom of the rolling pin. My brush wasn't like deeply loaded. It was more of a See, I even have chunky paint on there. Just take that. Take it off. I don't like it. Don't like it. I'm just taking off some of the, um, the bowl shading, too. Alright, I'm going to clean my brush. I just want to show you something, too. This is where I've been blotting my brush. This is soaked. So I'm just going to flip it over. This is drier. And you can use um, several paper, ta paper towels. Some artists like to use um, shop towels. Those are those blue ones that you get at the automotive department. Um, they feel like those are more absorbent or they last longer or something. But yeah, that was just really wet. So you need it to, to still be taking water out of the brush. So just make sure. Um, there we go. I'm going to just finish. I want to finish the icing so that I can move on. So I'm just popping a little bit of white now in a few areas, just straight white. I don't know if that looks weird because it's not all the same. Like, it's not all the same. So I'll just put it here and there. That looks good. All right. So that is done now, I think. I didn't need to do anything else. Um, this is done. The bowl icing rolling pin we're on. Shade along the bottom with burnt sienna. All right, so here's my burnt sienna. I'm just going to load it and walk away. I don't want a ton because this is a very thin little thing. It's splitting a little, but I think I'll be all right. And I'm going to put it down. I want it darker. You know I do. You know I do, kids. I'm going to add a little more paint to my brush. Come back. And because it was wet already, that didn't work. I think I'm getting tired. I think I should go to, um, I have to go to Acme. One more time. Third time's the charm. Paint the wood grain lines with milk chocolate. I have no idea which one is milk chocolate. I think that's the one I just used for the um, icing. Eh, I don't know if it is or not. Let's see. Not really. That's okay. I'm going to use my liner brush and wet that down a little so that it's nice and slick like ink and I'll be able to just pull some grain lines and I like, I'll, I'll come in so that you can see. Like, just pick it up and push down, like, 
let there be some fat ones and some thin ones. And I get a little crazy sometimes and just you put too many, but that's okay. I love it so much. All right, the handles are actually based a different color. So it says, paint the handles with lamp black. Stipple along the top of the rolling pin with a mix of titanium white and light buttermilk. Where's my stippler? Titanium white and light buttermilk. So that's kind of like the same colors that we just did on the, um, I have no words, cookie cutter. Base with jade, shade with avocado, deepen shading with avocado. Paint the stripes on the sleeves, paint the stitching, dot the buttons. And then you stencil the stars? Jeez, why do we stencil the stars after everything? Because I guess she wants them bright. I am going to be using this little stencil since it's the only star stencil I have, which is a mess. I've used it a lot in mixed media. So we'll get to that in a minute. But you're going to need a star stencil. It just looks so cute. So um, I think I'll come back and do one more video of... Um, pajamas and the books but this I'm going to just finish the rolling pin it has black handles where's my number one liner or yeah number one here we go so I have some black out I didn't realize that um, it had black candles. Cause I could have had that done, but that's okay. You know why she did that to pull the black? Well, there's not a lot. There's black eyes, black, black, black. I love it though. And then I think the lettering is in black as well. Um, so there is a there is a definite reason that she does what she does and that's why if you're a beginner definitely follow what the teacher what the pattern packet says um i actually am just lazy and um you know i make choices now there's something up here that's bothering me it's just right here this little i'm gonna put some shading right here because it just feels like it needs it um do i have any burnt umber out here Yes, but it's dried up. Ugh. Yeah, if you only put a little puddle out, it's going to dry up over, you know, in like an hour if it's really little. But some of them, ooh, I don't want to get, I'm getting pain on my shirt. Oh, man, I'll be able to get it off. Um, pink soap does that really well. I just wanted to put that there to make that leaf pop a little better. Did that work? I think it did. All right. Um, so I'm going to finish this rolling pin. I'm going to add one more little float of burnt sienna along the bottom because for whatever reason, it does not look like it wants to go on there for me. So I'm going to go back one more time. I can see that. I'll, I'll stick with that. And then a thin highlight line. So first it wants me to stipple with titanium white and light buttermilk. Where's my stippler? I just had it. light buttermilk and titanium white so i'm going to do the same thing in the other video i don't know if it was this video or that video now i can't remember light buttermilk pounce white pounce then i'm going to get it off and then i'm just going to come back to those puddles because you want stippling is basically just using the tips of the bristles so i'm just going to put a little bit of That's it. 
that's what she wants. Just a little bit of powder on there, I guess. Cute. Sorry, I'm still messing. Okay. And then a line, and I think we're done with that. So I'm going to come back for one more video. But it's coming together, OMG. When we put his pajamas on him, it's going to be so good. And the books. The books have lots of cute details, too. Fun lines. All right, so I will be back with the final part. It's looking so cute. Okay, you guys. Thanks for watching.